What is the wrath of God? Most people today totally misunderstand the wrath of God. When you talk to them about the wrath of God, they think that God is having a royal temper tantrum, that it's a loss of self-control, that it's an outburst of rage. That's wrong. You must understand that a holy God has a zero tolerance for sin. Remember that when Jesus Christ was on the cross and became sin, the Bible says that it pleased God to punish his own son. God always judges sin, always. That is an absolute constant. The Bible says the soul that sinneth shall surely die. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Romans 1.18 says the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all unrighteousness and all ungodliness. There is a zero tolerance for sin on any level. The fact is, if God did not judge sin every time, he would be a liar. If God did not judge sin every time, his word would be a lie. If God did not judge sin every time, the death of Jesus Christ at Calvary was the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on humanity. But God is faithful. His justice demands wrath. His justice demands that every man answer. Paul writes in Romans 2.5, the day of God's wrath, when his righteous judgment will, re will be revealed, God will give to every person according to the work that he has done. Simply stated, the Bible says, you and you and you will answer for every thought, for every word, and for every deed. You will answer to God. God's not emotional about it. You've broken the law of God, you'll pay the price. That's how God is. God says, this is the rule. If you break the rule, you're going to pay for it because choices have consequences. But I assure you, choices have consequences morally and spiritually. And when you become what God says you cannot do, you will pay the price. For the way of the, for the, way of the transgressor is hard. Most people totally misunderstand God's wrath. They see God as someone who is losing control, but that's not true. Because God's wrath is your choice. God's wrath is your choice. If you choose to obey God, you receive blessing. If you rebel against God, you receive His wrath. And it's because of your choice. It's not what God wants, it's what you demand. 